evening again guys hope you're all well hope you had a nice weekend it's a Monday night so been a bit busy with work you see so couldn't get out until tonight for a wild camp and over in the forest again and I'm back with the Gillette solo one man tent it's about 1.5 kilos just set it up nice and easy to set up and yeah use this on the day camp one of the last camps I did so time for an overnight wild camp with this one and uh, gone pretty light again tonight got the uh, the XPED rucksack 25 litre and um, before I forget it weighs 330 grams that rucksack on its own load limits five kilos although my total pack weight tonight that's including food water and everything was seven kilos <laughs> Okay, that's camp all set up. As you can see inside the uh, Gillette Solo, not a hell of a lot of space, but there's enough space. Um, on the day camp, I fitted in it just fine. Uh, I've got the red bag there. That's my summer sleeping bag. That's like a snug pack one. So we'll see uh, in the morning if that was a fatal error of judgment there, Get, bringing out your summer pack this early in the year. Uh, summer bag, sorry. Um, got a silk Sea to Summit sleeping bag liner in that. The OEX half pad. And underneath that is the yellow full length uh, Terranova laser sleeping pad. <coughs> Just bought that as well for an extra bit of comfort. I've got my rucksack and a little mini travel pillow in there. In the rucksack is all the, uh, um, all the stuff sacks. Stove of choice again. The Vargo Titanium Hexagon Wood Stove and I'm experimenting with different fire lighters and stuff tonight so I've got these these natural um, fire lighters we've got some cotton wool some normal those like white um, solid fuel fire lighters uh, what else is there there's Esbit tablets there's wet fires and um, got some shavings of like wood wool as well in there and some solid fuel tablets and then currently on there as well is a slice of fire log and then that's just some crumbled up remains of one as well so I'll add to that later or use it in the morning food is nothing fancy super noodles southern fried chicken flavour the best a uh, couple of hot chocolates, a cereal bar, Alka-Seltzer, some honey to go with the hot chocolate, drink mix, and then in the morning I've got uh, another cereal bar and some caramel flavoured porridge, so that should be interesting. I've got two litres of water with me and a leftover little bit of a Gatorade. Now I've got some uh, some rather distressing news to tell you. You're not going to believe this. This is a first for quite a while on Tom Outdoors. I've not got a cider with me tonight, so there will be no so no cider time, no uh, cider review. Reason being, I uh, I completely forgot that I needed to go and buy some more ciders. So by the time I remembered, all the shops had shut and the bloody garage doesn't serve alcohol after a certain time uh, because of the chavs on the estate I'm painting a wonderful picture of Essex I know but uh, yeah so couldn't get any cider so it's gonna be a dry one tonight guys apologies in advance although I think if you was just tuning in just for cider reviews I would go elsewhere if I were you um, <laughs> You know, as I'm sat here just watching the the wood fire in the stove going, just chilling out. Got a Horlicks hot chocolate on the right, on the left, southern fried chicken flavour super noodles. And yeah, as I'm just sat here, I'm just relaxing, it's just so nice, just peaceful. Um, I really wish I had a cider right now. But it's a step to recovery, <laughs> beating the addiction. 
No, I'm not actually like a regular drinker anyway. I, the only time I really drink is when I'm on a wild camp or on a day walk. I don't really go out out much anymore. So, but normal service will resume as normal. I'm sure. Okay, guys, I'm in the Gillette solo tent now. The doors all zipped up, and it's not particularly cold outside, but it's really cozy in here. It's really nice, and um, it's kind of cute. This tent. Uh, it sounds weird, I know, but what I mean by it's cute is like it's a very small, low-profile, compact little tent, and there's no unnecessary space in it. I'm but I'm not cramped either. It's like, there's still enough space for me and all of my kit as well. Um, okay, if you had like a massive rucksack, like a 60 litre rucksack, you wouldn't fit it in here, but I'd say probably sort of a 40 litre or less rucksack, you'd be fine. And I'm using that as my sleep pillow as well. So I can fit all of my gear in here. I mean, mine's a 25 litre rucksack, but yeah, it's really, really nice little tent. And it also gets extra points for, oh, up here you've got a little, uh, a little loop with a O-ring attachment to it, which is perfect for hanging your, your lantern from. So I've got my through night T10 there and the headlights just on the floor down here, throwing some, some more space, uh, more space, some more light. Anyways, right, I'm going to get some sleep now. It's about half one in the morning, I believe. And, yeah, so you'll see me in the morning. So it's good night from me. Good morning. <laughs> I slept really well in the tent. I woke up once. That was because I'd slept on both my arms, and I woke up and I couldn't use my hands. <laughs> um, it, and it got a little bit chilly uh, after woken up so I put my hat and my gloves on but apart from that I was warm the summer bag kept me warm as well um, yeah the tent's done a good job it's really cosy in it really really nice both my pads worked fine yeah I can't complain um, and yeah we had, we had good weather all night right I'm going to get some breakfast on the go and I'll show you the tent in the daylight and what the day's bought us. Just cooked me a uh, breakfast with the Vargo hexagon stove again. Just used up the last of like all the fire lighters and solid fuel tablets and uh, crushed up fire log that I had. Got fudge hot chocolate with some honey in it and caramel flavoured porridge and I might put the last a little honey in that as well so yeah this was the tent and yeah I'd highly recommend the Gillette Solo I'll just give you a little walk around it very narrow at the, the foot end probably if you was like over six foot it might be really really cramped in there although I did see one review where a guy was six foot three and he just about fitted in it well I'm about five nine five ten and I fit in it just fine I had plenty of space still so yeah very comfy very warm I mean you have to sort of sort of lean on one arm sort of thing can't sit up in it of course but I'm used to that, that's fine. In terms of wildlife, I heard last night and this morning we've had the usual pheasants, a couple of foxes, um, I think there was an owl at one point last night a woodpecker this morning which seems to have stopped sadly and a couple of crows aside from all the other usual birds I'm 
I'm not too up on my uh, bird watching, so I couldn't tell you what they uh, what birds are making the tweeting noises at the moment, but they're the ones that I could pick out anyway. Bluebells are coming through in the forest floor. Yeah, spring's doing uh, doing its magic. Okay, we're all packed up, so it's just time to weigh this. So this will be base pack weight. Five point one kilos. So coming in, it was seven, seven and a bit kilos, about seven point two. So yeah, I've lost just over, well, about two kilos. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's the end of that wild camp for this week. There's a good little tent, the Gillette Solo. As I said, I'd highly recommend it. I'd recommend this pack also. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Cheers for the support. Get in the comments. Let us know what you think of this one. And, yeah, I'm signing off now. I've got to go to work. Anyways, cheers for watching, guys. You'll see me in the next one. See you later.